Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you a customer ordered unit. So this is going to be a 2023 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Gooseneck. This one is pretty loaded out, so we'll go through all the specs and features on it and kind of show you um, some of the options we can do on these more customized trailers. But we'll start right here. We've got our adjustable coupler. So on that adjustable coupler, we want to make sure you're riding as level as possible on your tow vehicle. So being able to move this up and down to get you that level ride helps out big time. And then you got our safety chains, the battery breakaway cable, um, your plug, and then right here, you've got a battery box. You got one battery in there, and then you've got your battery cutoff switch in there as well. And that battery cutoff switch, when you are not using the trailer, we highly recommend for you to turn it off. And then that way, if you accidentally leave a light on on the inside or exterior, it's going to cut all power to the trailer, so your battery is not going to be dying out completely. And then when you have that turned on and the truck plugged in and the truck's running, it's actually going to trickle charge that battery back up. So keep that to full capacity. This right here is going to be our compressor for the air ride and the system, how you turn it on and off and then raise or lower the trailer. So having that right there in the corner keeps it up out of the way, but still accessible. And then right here, we've got our controls for the hydraulic jack. So um, having that hydraulic jack, I'm telling you, it's way better than cranking. So being able to get the trailer up and down easily, it helps out big time. And then it also has a kind of a fail safe on it to where you are able to hand pump it if you're in an emergency situation and the battery's not working, you're able to get this trailer up and down yet. And then right here, you'll see the full size spare with the matching aluminum rim. And then on this one, we did do the 53 inch drop. So that gooseneck drop is gonna come from right here and then down to the floor. So doing that 53 inch drop just gives you a little bit more playroom between the truck and the trailer. And that way, if you're going over big dips or bigger bumps and stuff, you're not gonna be hitting your truck bed and denting that up or the trailer. So set up on this one, what I really like, right up here, this first one, we've got a hay room. So I'm actually gonna shut this real quick and show you this hay room. Cause having this extra storage space helps all big time be able to put your hay in there. You could put your grain in there, you know, your wheelbarrow, any kind of things you gotta take with. You do have a little storage area for it and you're able to bring them with you. And we actually put the mats on the side so that way nothing's gonna be sticking on the walls. Um, be able to keep it as clean as possible. So in these doors, they are on a latchback system, so you're able to keep them latched open, whether you're on a little slant right now, like we are, or if the wind's blowing pretty good, they're not gonna be, you know, slamming shut, hitting the back of your legs and taking your knees out. So over here on the tack door, this customer wanted two brush boxes, so we got the two brush box mounted for him. Um, that way he can put whatever he needs to put in there with ease of access, just having it right there. And then right above, we've got the bridle hooks, so you're able to have, you know, have your bridles right there, accessible, easy to grab. And then you also have additional ones here in the tack room. So we have a step coming up into the tack room. So the step's gonna help out big time, just give you a little more ease of access, being able to get in and out of the trailer. And then we've got a swing out saddle rack. So swing out saddle rack, I really like it for the fact if you've got those heavier saddles, you're able to just come right here and throw it up on here instead of having to walk up into the trailer and trip over the saddle itself. And then the other neat thing about this tack room that we did, we've got plenty of blanket pull space. Um, so you're able to get your blankets on there, get them cooled out, have some spacing, or if you're gonna use all of them, you can. And then I don't know if you noticed how I pulled that out. So pulling that out gives you the access to the bridles right here. So keeping the safe space small, but still usable by being able to get this blanket pull out, access your bridles, and then this just hooks on right there like that. You do have an air vent in here. I'll hop out real quick. So you got that roof vent so you can get some airflow, you know, get some 
ventilation in there if you've got those sweaty horse blankets or whatnot you're able to get some air going through it and then you have an LED light above the door so coming over here to the hip side of the trailer we've got our bus windows so these open up part way so you're able to pick and choose how much airflow you want going through the trailer um, I really like using it I uh, me personally I open them up from the inside and then when I go to haul anywhere I will open and close these as we're going and that way your horses are getting the proper amount of airflow you're keeping them cool or if they're getting too cold you can close them up from the outside and you're not having to go in through the horses so then over here up above we've got an LED light get those turned on real quick so two LED lights there's one above that hay room and the tack room and then one above the horse area where you tie so I don't know if you noticed, this trailer is on air ride suspension. So right now I've got it lowered so you can see just how low it can get. And it'll raise about four inches once we turn that compressor on and get that air ride going up. So we've got the 7,000 pound axles beneath it. And then our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So having that air ride, like right now how I have it lowered, you'll notice the back of the trailer is quite a bit lower than what is typical. That's because that air ride is down and not engaged right now. So it's making this angle a lot easier for horses to get in and out of the trailer. So it's not much to step up on this. It's not gonna be much step into the trailer and it just makes loading up a lot easier. So we've obviously got the ramp that I was just stepping on. So ramp comes over the back, one big back door with the window in the rear and then we've got our, our ladder, and that ladder, it's an easy angle ladder, so it actually pops up and then pulls out like that, and that way you're not going up the trailer at a steep slope. You've got that angle, easy angle, to get up onto the roof, because there is a hay rack up there. So having that hay rack, you're able to bring extra hay with you, bring extra storage space, um, or extra storage space for you, just load it out up there. So I'm coming in here to the stall area. LED light, load light. And then on this rear stall, we've got our telescoping divider. So being able to get this out of the way. And that way your horses aren't gonna catch a hip. It's gonna stay over out of the way. And then when you're ready to haul, you just pull this out. Let's see here. Pop into place, come on, there we go. So it pops into place and then goes into the little, you know, uh, latch right here. And the Cimarron latches, I really like them because I've got younger horses. So being able to just push with your hip and get that locked right away instead of messing with a pin or anything helps out big time. So on the dividers, you'll notice we've got padded dividers on each side. And then on that first stall, we've got a stud stall. So you got the stud stall, able to keep your horses that like to step on one another or a little more finicky, you can keep them up in that one and not have them stepping on its neighbor or anything like that. So these dividers, they are the airflow dividers. So you're gonna have plenty of airflow coming through, be able to get your horses cooled down, make sure they're cool and staying comfortable in the trailer. And then we've got our feed bunks. So Feed bunks on all four stalls. And then the mangers down below, we'll see those when we get to the other side of the trailer. So able to feed the horses while you're going down the road, keep them happy, keep them content and everything. Roof vents up above each stall. So having those roof vents, you can push them forward, push them back, keep that airflow flowing over the horses' backs. And then I don't know if you notice, talking about airflow, we've got stall fans in here. So having those stall fans will keep those horses happy, keep them cooled off, especially if you're traveling through busier cities or towns and you got stop and go traffic midday, having those fans and keeping that airflow going for the horses is gonna keep them a heck of a lot happier. And then we've got LED lights, one for each stall. And then we've got our butt strap that comes across the rear. So this, hooks up right here and that way that last horse if you've got them tied up and you open that back door 
it's going to have something to prevent them from just coming straight back and out. Um, cause an issue if it's tied and it tries to back out of a trailer. We all know how horses can be, so having that back there helps out big time. This trailer, we did equip it with backup lights. So that is what this is, and then the other one's behind the door on the other side. So that way when you put your truck in reverse, uh, people behind you are gonna be able to see that you are backing up. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, right away you'll see the broom closet. So this is just, I really like the broom closets because it, it takes up that awkward empty space in the trailer and gives you additional storage space. And then you'll notice how this one kind of tapers a little bit bigger towards the back. Well, that's actually going to help be able to fit buckets in there a lot easier than if we were to go straight across. So it gives you a little bit more space, a little bit more room in there. And then you've got the bridle hooks with the carpet behind. And having that carpet behind, if you've got bridles, Sitting in there is going to help prevent some of that swishing and swaying and wear and tear that the bridles will do while you're driving. And it's going to help keep the trailer in better condition and then help keep the bridles in good condition as well. So over here on the head side, we've got drop downs on all four stalls. And then we've got the mangers underneath. So storage mangers, this thing is loaded with storage. I don't know if you noticed that. So more storage down here. Be able to put whatever you need to put in here. I'm gonna put this up real quick so he can show you guys just how much storage space there is. And then they're equipped with lights in there too. And that way you can see what you're trying to grab if it's dark out, or even if you're just in an awkward, darker area, you're able to see what you're grabbing. And then we've got the access doors on all four of them too. So you're not having to reach in there and grab down, you can access from each door. So the drop downs, they come down and then you got the jail bars. These pop into place so they're not going to be sitting there slapping against the trailer while you're driving down the road. And then the jail bars, these come down as well. Uh, that is a very nice feature. I love that feature just for the fact if you're hauling longer distances and you want to offer your horses water at a pit stop, you're able to just pull that down, come up in here with water instead of having to take horses off the trailer to offer them anything. And then also you can refill your hay from the outside and not have to take horses out once again. So being able to do so, and then they just pop back in really easily. These windows are also equipped with bus windows, and that way if you're hauling in the winter and you don't want a whole ton of airflow, but you still need some, you can open that up and get them what they need. We've got another LED light, two LED lights, sorry, up above. Be able to you know see in the dark lights are cool in the dark that's for sure <laughs> and then coming in here we've got our dressing room area so having this dressing room gives you that flexibility if you're sitting at a show and you need to waste some time you can sit in here or if you just want to use this as a storage area you got more storage plenty of space in here to the right as you walk in you'll see we've got our shelf and that shelf's got a little lip on it, so stuff isn't gonna be sliding out and off and everything. And then we've got our bar below, and that way you can hang your show clothes or whatever needs to be hung. And then coming over here, up in the gooseneck area, plenty of space to toss a mattress up there if you needed to. And then we actually went ahead and did the air vent up above, and that's the same framework for an AC unit. So down the line, if this customer decides he wants an AC unit in it, we've already got the framework for it and it'll be a lot easier to install. We've got another closed rod bar up in the corner there. Having windows on both sides, you're able to get that airflow and then having that vent up above too and that way a little more comfortable in here. And then an LED light up in the nose. And then you probably saw these as he was panning by, but I forgot to point them out. We've got some additional bridle hooks right here, and that way you've got plenty of space to be able to hang all the bridles you've got, or if you have other things you want to hang there, you can do so. And then right here, we've got our boot box. So extra wide boot box, super deep. Um, that's going to be nice to have extra storage space once again, put your boots in there. And then it also doubles as a bench where you can sit on it, and then it triples has a step to get up into that gooseneck area. 
So that's, that's your dressing room right there. So this trailer, we are actually sitting at eight feet wide. So that's how we're getting all these extra storage space and everything on it. We've got some extra width. We're sitting at seven feet, four inches tall. So having that seven, four tall, your bigger horses are gonna feel more comfortable in this and having just a seven foot tall trailer. So it's gonna be nice to have and nice to haul around. And then we've got an on the floor length of 24 feet, six inches. And then we've got an empty weight of 6,450 pounds. So stock number on this unit is gonna be 5N, 220, 100. And that's 5N, 220, 100. And that's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck loaded. This trailer is loaded. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have on our lot or on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. When you're looking on our website, you'll see drawings of trailers that we've got on order. So if one of those interests you and you want to know when we should be seeing it or getting it in, just please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone, and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone, that's 303-684-3451, or shoot me an email, and that's Morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N, dot null, K-N-O-L-L, -L, at transwest.com. If you click the link below, you can go to this trailer on our inventory or on our website, or you can browse our new or used inventory on there as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to doing business with you. Thanks.